Oh, there's a fish. What is up guys, it's the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi banger video. Today we're at a new lake and we're gonna try fishing this lake that I've actually fished the other side of pretty often. This lake is actually my university's lake called, uh, it's like Bradford Chain or something like that. I've brought some pan fishing gear and one big swim bait rod and honestly that's all I'm doing today. I'm just gonna see if there's some top water going on today because that's what I got a feeling is probably gonna happen. Top water poppers are gonna be the move, things like that, Rapala floaters. But the popper I'll be using mainly is the Euro Tackle Z Pop. The Euro Tackle Z Pop is an amazing popper. I'll talk about it more on the boat but I actually got to get another camera battery, thank God, I just remember that. Currently, the water is looking glass flat, looking beautiful, looking absolutely gorgeous. And I almost got stuck coming down here. I don't know how, but I think I might have. So far, I've been seeing blow-ups, been seeing some action. I mean, there's action right in front of me with a bunch of minnows, but I'm definitely excited to do some pan fishing. Old boy over there is on the phone, chilling. But I think today, we're going to just send it for a couple of hours and see how it goes. I've never been on this side of the lake with a boat besides a kayak so i'm definitely excited to try it out <laughs> i'll see you guys on the water all right guys i almost forgot to mention i'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video this video is also sponsored by mtv mystery tackle box i'm gonna show you guys what i got in the mystery tackle box for the panfish i got tons of things like grubs tons of tackle i got cranks i got grubs again like i said jig heads terminal tackle spoons all that stuff if you guys want to try out the panfish and trout mystery tackle box use my link and also use the code hunterfish and you'll get your first mystery tackle box for as low as ten dollars this right here is the mtv Pro got tons of value in it. I would say almost $40 of value in it. So if you guys want to try bass, trout, panfish, multi-species, even catfish and inshore species are in there. So if you guys want to go try out MTB for as low as $10, use my code HUNTERFISH and you'll get your first MTB for that low. I want to say thanks to Mystery Tackle Box for sponsoring today's video and uh, shout out to them and always hooking me up. Let's get back to fishing. All right guys, so we're currently on the fish finder and I'm going to run you guys just through everything real quick. So right now I'm on a dual screen mode. So we're back on the home screen. So, so far there's a couple modes for the Garmin Striker. You got the traditional view, which is that right there, your normal sonar. But then you also have a down scan. If you click down and hit that check mark, you get down scan, which shows your structure a little bit better. And it kind of gives you a detailed view of what the bottom's supposed to look like. And right now we're looking at a soft bottom, it looks like there's no hard line. And right here at the top, you can see your depth, your, uh, temperature your speed voltage and your time mine's an hour behind right now so it's actually 8 2 a.m and you also can see your frequency here at the bottom left and you also could tell what kind of transducer you have so we're looking at the bottom you don't see much structure right now but you could see some stuff here and there like that right there is something that right there looks like a couple sticks and yeah you got some fish off the bottom there looks like sort of but I'm gonna show you guys what I like using. It's the traditional plus clear view. It's a default mode on the Garmin Strikers. So you hit check mark and you go back to it. By the way, to go back to the main menu screen, you have to hit that return button. So right now we're looking at the screen. I have fish ID on and that's not a fish. That's actually a stump we just rolled over, it looks like. I'm trying to move us out of the way of it actually right now. Moving us out of the way of that stump we just went over, but you guys saw that structure. I'm actually gonna mark that by hitting this little, little waypoint with a little pin on it. Hit that and I can go to Press check mark to edit waypoint. Press check mark to edit name. And I'm gonna name that tree. T R E E. Boom. So now that I've written that down there, I'm just gonna hit this back button, hit it again, and I'm back to my main screen that I was using. So that how to get it set up like this, you have to press this menu button. This little three line button is how you'll change the details of any screen on the Garmin Striker. So here you press that button and you can go to either one of your menus and change it and add things like fish ID, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But what I do to get it horizontal instead of vertical like a default is, you hit check mark on the configure combination and you go down to split. I change it to horizontal by pressing check mark, but you can press check mark to change it to vertical, horizontal, whatever you want to do. And you can also change the name of it. So if I want to go turn on fish ID, I go to the traditional sonar menu because fish ID will only work in traditional sonar so you hit check mark on traditional sonar menu and you can change things like the frequency the gain the range zoom all that stuff so I'm gonna go down to sonar setup hit check mark 
And that right there is where I can change things like fish ID. So I'm gonna go down to appearance and that's where I'll change at. And I could change things like color, which personally I like maroon. So I'm gonna change it to maroon. And now it looks a little bit different. I like it more. But now that I fresh that, I have to go through that all again to change it to fish ID to have it on again. So you hit that little menu button, traditional sonar, sonar setup, appearance, and go to fish symbols. And here you have a couple different options. So you have just the fish symbol, so it's gonna remove things like arches out of the way so you don't can't see those. But what I do is I have that fish symbol with the dots on with the depth reading so that I know if it's a tree or if it's grass or if it's actually a fish. And that helps me out. So I'm gonna click that back, back, back. And that is how you mess around with the sonar. Now another thing that is the best part about the Garmin, Garmin Striker Plus series is you hit the quick draw map check mark and as you guys can see I'm making a little depth chart of the lake that I'm fishing right now so I'm gonna back out of that and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that just like I did so what you're gonna do is hit that menu button just like I've said before you got quick draw contours so you hit that and you press start recording and that's all you need to do to start getting a depth reading and make a depth chart of your lake so this was just a tutorial on how to do a couple of things with the Garmin Striker 4 Plus if you guys have any questions throw it down below but you can do a bunch of different splits, read all this stuff, and there's a lot more details they can do, but if you guys have the general idea of how to do those three things I just showed you, then you're golden. You're, you're gonna know what to do. As I've talked about that, I'm gonna get the fishing. Hope you guys enjoy that little part right there. You're from Wakulla, of course you do. Oh, there's a fish. What is it, 12 pound bass? No. 14 pound bass? No, 14 inch bass. Look how dark he is. Yeah, he, well, no, he like slurped it kind of. Look how dark that freaking bass is. Dude, what the heck? Dude, he, he looks like the type of bass like people would eat. And I wouldn't eat this one. <laughs> I would not he, eat this boy. <laughs> he looks like the type of fish you eat. I'm not going to eat this one. This fish? Nah, this fish Guys, is savory. That right there is one of the bass in some black water. We got some black water in parts of Florida that are really, like really, really black water. <laughs> like as you guys can tell. And this is one of them black water bass. I'm actually gonna take a picture of him with the popper just to show you guys the stark contrast in color. Heck yeah. First one of the day guys, easy enough. Popper was moved. Augie was actually the, probably the one that got me put on the popper, but I've used poppers out this place for a little bit. So there you go, first one of the day. All right guys, we are uh, into the fishing a little bit. I've caught one fish, you guys saw that on camera, but right now I wanna show you guys this. That is a panther exhibit right there. This is the Tallahassee Museum right here next to the water. Usually you can see the panther from the water, but I do not see him right now. But we actually talked to somebody. He said the fishing was a little bit better in the very third lake from where we were fishing. So currently we're heading that way and we're fishing the canals on the way there. Do you see the panther anywhere? All right, Panther's not coming today, boys. That's okay, though. So we're gonna start waking our way to the third lake and having some good old fishing to do, but we're probably just chilling for right now, not worried about catching a whole lot of fish, but I wanted to do a quick video. Figured why not just cover the whole Garmin thing while I'm out here too for you guys. I'm gonna title the video, Garmin tutorial for y'all. Hopefully that does pretty good. I am going to, uh, yeah, let me get back to fishing. I love how I didn't get that on recording, though. All you just caught his first bass of the day on the popper. Popper's the move right now, it looks like. Dope. I'm over here trying to figure out the active captain thing on Garmin's, but Augie just caught his first fish of the day. I'm gonna fish for slower. Yeah, you, you do the fishing while I try to figure this thing out. <laughs> Is that a fish? Yeah. Oh, dude. Caught a fish without me even knowing. Poppers in the trees. So, bass are in the trees for sure. There you go, Augie. Augie, show the catch. Come on, popper, right bud. There. Let me get the autofocus going. There we go. On a popper. There you go. Bro. We caught them in these trees, and uh, right now we're fishing these trees, but I think we're about to jet over to the dock so I can use my things like my EPF swim here and the Euro Tackle popper. I'm gonna throw more poppers, bud. Yeah, we're just gonna stick to throwing poppers, but as of right now, we're kind of having a tough time. 
the water temp is 86 degrees over here and it was 83 back where we started so we're kind of like adapting to that and i think it's gonna be definitely top water but i do not know how to unhook a fish huh oh you just threw a fish to the camera that's sick but we're gonna go hit the docks and uh, see how the fishing is there we're that was the first fish in the cypresses we've had in about like what like 20 minutes yeah it's been a little bit so we're gonna try to go catch some fish somewhere else now it's heated Keep you updated. 95 degrees out here. 95, yeah, we're probably not gonna be here much longer. <laughs> oh, there's bait moving over there. You got a fish? There you go. There's one. Heck yeah, baby. Another fish. Another dart bass. Yeah, that's how they bite in here, dude. It's flipping for days. There you go. There you go. All right, guys, we are currently headed out of the lake right now. I'm directing this out. We have a little bit of battery left because I didn't charge the battery all the way last night. I charged it for about six hours and we used it as much in that one video. Haven't charged it besides last night since then, but we caught about five bass today. I missed one bluegill. Uh, I think I caught one bass and already caught two on the jig, caught two on the popper. Yeah, I think that's what it is, yeah. So we're on our way out, we're going through the canal, but my battery, we, I had the voltage on the fish finder, you can tell it's going down. But I have the biggest battery you can get from Walmart, so hopefully that will get us all the way out. For now, I think we'll be good, it's just we'll be, you know, slowly trotting on the way back once we get almost there. We can speed you to the Panthers and get a little lighter. What's that? We can speed you to the Panthers and get a little lighter. Oh yeah, we can, feed, we can feed one of us, probably me, but maybe Augie, uh, to the Panther. We'll probably get a little bit lighter, but... Right now, we're just trying to make it back as fast as possible. I don't think we're going as fast as we came in on. Do you think so? Yeah, we're not going nearly as fast right now. But also, it's kind of hot. My motor's pretty hot right now, so that might be part of it. But yeah, so far, we're just making our way in right now, so. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I want to say thanks to Mr. Tacklebox for sponsoring the video once again. We got the boat all wrapped up. Fishing wasn't too, too bad today. We got fine. Battery lasted plenty enough time. It's a size 29 battery, so we really shouldn't have too much trouble. I want to say I'm really excited to do more fishing out here because I actually really liked being out in this deeper water. That last place we fished in the boat was actually kind of shallow, and I didn't really like it, but I do like being out here more, so I'm going to do more time out here. I actually started making a graph of out deep and where we first got to that third lake or whatever, and I started finding a lot of suspended fish, like out in six to nine foot, and that's where I like to fish. So I'm going to try fishing there more often. I want to try to get on some crappie out here because there's plenty of crappie fishing out here. So I'm going to try to get out here again and do some crappie. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to hopefully get back out here pretty soon again. Hopefully catch some big ones or some big crappie and get dinner. I want to say that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure y'all are subscribed down below. If you want to say oh, thanks for the tutorial, make sure you guys let me know down below. If you want to know anything more to know about how to use them, a little bit of features, like what's the best situation for this, this, and this. I'll do more tutorials on that for you guys. Just let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll say thank you guys for watching and remember. Fish spare me.